Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. Woohoo! One more day and it's Friday. <laughs> um, so I'm on my way to my mom and dad's. My sister and I are going to help them with the attic once again. Cl clear out the attic and yeah, get it done. I'm not sure how much more is up there. But first, I gotta adjust the seat. <laughs> The hubby drove the boys to school, and I can always tell when he drives. <sighs> drives like a gangsta. <laughs> Seat all the way back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm loving my hair. I'm not used to it, but I am getting used to it, and I love it. Um, I haven't washed it yet, and I was thinking, um, that's going to be different because I'm used to washing a lot of hair. But you know what? You know, you know the one good thing about that? Less shampoo. Yeah. I can save on some shampoo. <laughs> it won't take me as long, too. I'll cut cut down on some shower time. Yeah. Oh, so that's good. But I do have to go buy a hairbrush because my hairbrush took a swim in the toilet this morning. It went kaplunk. And nobody wants a toilet that goes kaplunk in the toilet. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like the first thing this morning. And um, the hubby told me that, and it's like, that's not what I want to hear first thing in the morning, but gee, thank you. So, um, now I need a hairbrush, and that one I got at Dollarama a couple years ago, and I love it. But last time I was at Dollarama, they did not have a great selection of hairbrushes. They only had a few, and I, I did not like any of them, so, um, I might check out Dollar Tree. Well, I'll do that tomorrow. I do have a comb, so I can, like, comb out my hair. Um, but I would have, I would have to have gone ASAP to Dollar Brown, my Dollar Tree to replace it if my hair was longer like it was before I got my hair cut because it would need to get brushed. <laughs> yes, and I would have been able to brush it with a comb. Um, but this length, I could brush it with a comb. Yeah. All right, so off to my mom and dad's. That's what we're doing first. And yeah, that will be our Thursday adventure. And then maybe come home and then maybe have a latte or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good Thursday. All right, off we go. Looks nice. The backyard and the front yard is nice too. And there's a garage. Yeah. Then I saw. Yeah, the garage in the bottom. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, there's a glass bowl. Okay. Grab it, grab it from the bottom. Try yeah. to. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just get a clip. Last time? Yeah. I have to figure out. With this? Oh. The fish bowls. 
Fish bowls. You know what we used for Rachel's wedding? Really? That many? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh, never mind. Oh. The house is only five oh, years wow. old. What? The house is only five years old. But how many square foot? They, they don't say. These pipas. Winter Star, 1968. Mm, Was that a good year? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> crappy. <isn't it? laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's snowing. It's snowing. What is this? I think the mice got into that one. Oh. Xander's car seat. Oh. <laughs> you want that? It's yours, then. Yeah, it's broken, though. Yeah, I doubt if you can fix no. it. No. It would cost more to fix. Yeah. You might be to able to throw that out in the garbage. This is all for garbage. Garbage. So right here. Oh my goodness. So we'll have to see. Hopefully dad doesn't want a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no cord for this, so you can't you can't keep that. No, no cord. Today too. What yeah. mean? What mean? You want your mammy? Uh, Dad's clothes. Uniform. Garbage. Dad's uniform. Yeah. Garbage. Yeah. Need to give him a little clean. Give him some extra love. Mine are other than Rachel's even. It probably was yours because your name means Lamb of God. No, oh, that's Rachel. Right. Oh, you're princess. Okay. Why am yeah. I? <laughs> when, what's, my, what's my name mean? Crown one, right? Yeah, I think so. Where, where's my crown? <laughs> oh, look at these. <laughs> Good. 1989. Wow. That's it. Okay. I have to open with one hand, but it looked like cameras. Wow. wow. Cool. Oh. Do, do, do. Oh, wow. Yeah. you Sometimes they call it a ephemera. Yeah. Oh, my doll clothes and blankies. No. Oh. Open oh, and bibs. Oh, that's where they all win all the clothes. Look at that. And Those diapers. And blankies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. The tiny little dolls came with this. So that is recycled. Recycled. And I leave everything in the box to be mm -hmm. but if it rains, it's all wet. Uh, I don't know. I see, I yeah. see it there. Uh, and we got bibs. Oh, my dollies. Outfits. Yeah. Like Those I said, were real baby stuff. Yeah, real baby yeah. stuff. Couldn't buy it at stores. <laughs> it's probably Sarah and Rachel's clothing. Still in good condition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one. Yeah. That's that was cute. theirs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of diapers. Yeah. Ooh, look at the style back Ooh. then. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh la la, bras. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Coffee in her 
Are you serious? Coffee grounds. Coffee grounds? That's funny. Yeah, so I'll put them in donate. I'll put them in something else. Okay. It's so funny. That was not bad. Yeah, that was not bad. Some of them could be salvageable. It could still sell anyways. That one's not bad. Godridge. Seize you. Look at cool. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hidden River Wow. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad, no. That's pretty good. Just a little dirt. Kitchen around here. Oh, Pablo. Oh, Pablo. That one. Yeah, that's a good one. Great smoky mountains. Tiny town, New York. Where did you get all these? Yeah, where did I get all Brace these? Bridge. I don't know. My friends have a cottage in Bracebridge. Hmm. That one's good. Green we know where we got the Pablo one, but that's it. <laughs> Goggle. Henry. They're not too bad, it's just the ends that are yeah. destroyed. Oh, yeah, the mice kind of so kind of chewed that one up. Yeah. So we're spraying this for it. Oh, those are cool. Those are keepers. Yeah, those are keepers. I don't feel shreddable. Okay. Alright. And what are you doing with the cooler? Good. Are you keeping the cooler or selling it? Sell it. Well, did we use it? No. no. I won it <laughs> years yeah. ago. You won it? it? I won it in a radio contest. You know, I already have a cooler, a more modern one. And yeah. It's small. Yeah. It's like, okay. Yeah, it's small. Okay. Yeah, get rid like of it. We don't, they, they we, sell, we don't they want sell to move it. Good. Oh, wow. That'll sell good. Yeah, yeah, that will sell. Oh, yeah, okay. So. You can it's sell. It's cool. People. You can sell my cooler. All right. <laughs> All right, so I am back home. I had a fun morning slash afternoon. Had a yummy lunch ham sandwich with homemade chicken noodle soup. And yeah, just had a good time looking through everything that came down from the attic and just walking down memory lane and felt like we took a trip to the past pretty much. So I'm just having some pumpkin spice latte before the boys come home with a little pick me upper. Mm-hmm. Yup, poops you out. Um, so at that band of clothes of um doll clothes, well most of them were clothes that my, my that were my sisters. <laughs> I know. That's what that's what we're used for doll clothes. We used real baby clothes for our dollies, yeah, back then. Yeah. Um, so I brought the whole thing home. I'm going to go through them. Some of them do have stains on it. But my sister told me to get OxyClean and try to get the stains out that way. So I'm going to go through them. Probably not till like next week. Um, but yeah, I'll add that to the list. <laughs> you know, and I'll go through it and see what I want to resell. Um, I also found, I think this was, this was my dad's Playtime Stories. A little book. So cute. And a Bible ABC book. So cute. Three, two, one. <laughs> um, P is for Peter who sank in the sea when trying to walk on dark Galilee. <laughs> so, thought they would enjoy that. And this was also in the box and I didn't realize it when I grabbed it. But it's one of the Eat Tin catalogs and it's still wrapped. My grandma probably put this up there in the attic. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh. Yep. Spring and summer, 1976. Order will stock last, or until March 13th, 1976. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, a color TV was $519.88, and it was $50 off. <laughs> oh, I was so fun looking at the other one, and before I lost, my mom was looking through it, and she got to the corset part. <laughs> 
and we just all laughed because boy, those things really looked uncomfortable corsets. Like, whew, that sucked, sucked life out of you pretty much. Yeah. Oh, but it's just fun to look through something like that to see what the style was. And oh, 1976. I'm not sure. Was it a good year? I wasn't around. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not for a few more years. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. My sisters would have been one year, one, um, one years old. Oh, uh, yep. So, yeah. So it was really fun. Oh, and my, my dad. This was my dad's. He said I can give it to the boys. A wooden snake. That was his. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. So since um, I'll probably be reselling those. I'll talk about reselling because one of you guys asked about reselling. Um. I've been reselling since like my twenties. Uh, but that was just for extra cash and that was just here and there um, When we got married, I really didn't start to resell and I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'll get into I'll, I'll get into that and I'll, you know, teamwork, I'll help him, I'll look for the stuff and um, We both kind of help with the listings and taking the pictures and he does the shipping part He understands more of that how to measure and weigh the box. So he does that part and um but yeah and, and then my sister started to do it reselling but see growing up reselling wasn't really that popular you know like i didn't go out to look for stuff to resell i resold stuff if i found it at a yard sale and like i can remember reselling toys that we grew up with my little pony popples rainbow bright strawberry shortcake um that was always popular um to sell back then but I'm not sure if it still is popular to sell. I'm not sure. I haven't really sold any of that kind of stuff lately. And that kind of stuff actually is actually is, is actually hard to find. Like back then, it was easy. You could go to a yard sale and find a Care Bear for like a quarter, you know. And that like they were cheap, right? Um, I still have my Care Bears and my Popples, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they stay with me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if I have my Rainbow Bright. I don't know because I gave her a haircut when I was a kid and um, I learned that Dolly's hairs do not grow back the hard way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I pulled her hair back in a ponytail. You can't tell. You know? But I'm not sure if I still have her. I'll have to check. I might. She might be upstairs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with that's, you know, that's what we would sell. And my sister would sell, like, that kind of stuff, too. And, like, she she would, um, whenever she found a lot of My Little Ponies, she would, um, you know, comb out their their hair, wash it, and make them look pretty. And, like, she'll line them up around the sink to dry. And my dad would always tease us that he felt like somebody was watching him when he went to the bathroom. <laughs> That's kind of like that TikTok song. I always feel like someone's watching me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like all, all of my, my Little Pony is staring him down. Yeah, um, but yeah, they sold and they went to, I think a lot of times they went to like Japan, either Japan and like California maybe, yeah. Yeah, a lot of times that's where they went. Mm -hmm. But that was when shipping was cheap. That is when shipping was cheap back then. I mean, remember what what the cost of a stamp was? Like it was under a dollar, and now it's like over a dollar. It's crazy how how much it costs, you know, just for a stamp. Like, I know. So, so yeah. So she would do that. She would. She would. Um, she would um look for that stuff at yard sales and you would find them at almost like almost every yard sale like um i think back then you were guaranteed to if you want yard selling every saturday you were guaranteed to find them at least one or two yard sales yeah but now they're hard to find and i'm not really sure they do sell i don't know maybe yeah i haven't looked into it though um so like what sells for us is i find Anything that is retro, vintage, like Christmas decorations, um, Starbucks mugs sell for us. Clothing um, doesn't really sell for us. I, 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 find, I find that clothing kind of is hard for us to sell. I think we sold a couple things clothing, but it takes longer for us to sell. So I try to stay away from clothing. Um, yeah, what else? Um, anything that's unique, like um, we haven't sold it yet. I'm, I'm actually not sure if it's listed yet. I don't think it's listed yet. Um, this summer, I got, so I found a wooden pitcher that was like carved out of wood and they stained certain parts of it. Um, stuff like that is unique and one of a kind. It usually will, does really well. Um, we haven't picked that up yet. <laughs> we, I mean, we haven't um, 
picked it up. What am I talking about? I don't know. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> we haven't listed it yet, I don't think. No. Um, so, like, stuff like that. And, yeah, and anything, like, vintage. Um, one time, I think, I don't know, quite a few years ago, four or five years ago, I found a poker room, um, poker room puppet at Value Village, and it was around five bucks. And um, what I will usually do, I will look at eBay, the eBay app, Soul Comps, and I don't think eBay had any on there. Um, I looked on Etsy really quick, and Etsy had one, one. And it's like, okay, Soul Comps aren't very, you know, they're not really, you know, showing a lot of show, I mean, a lot of Soul Comps, but um, something like Pokeroo, and Pokeroo was a Canadian television series. I think it was on for like five years in the 80s, late 80s, I think. And um, it was one of my favorite shows to watch as a kid. Um, it was two adults, and there were these four dolls, which I think every Canadian little kid wanted, including myself. Um, you had Marigold, you had Humpty, you had Dumpty, and you had bear who was a, a well a bear a teddy bear and then you had pokeroo okay i'm not sure what pokeroo was i don't know if google knows what pokeroo was but he was kind of um i don't know kind of like a giraffe he, he was tall kind of had like a long neck i don't know it's very hard to describe i'll have to see if i can find a picture um <laughs> no. but just like google it go on youtube um the polka dot door it, it was i used to love watching it it was one of my favorites to watch and um so it, it was like you know they would sing songs and you would learn um it was a learning show of course educational and at the end pokeru would make his appearance okay for like five minutes but the guy okay the guy would come up with the, with an excuse they would always be an excuse to why he had to go why he had to leave okay so he would leave and then he would miss Pokeroo's visit altogether. And then he would come back when Pokeroo left and be like, Oh man, I miss Pokeroo again. You know, but us kids, we're not stupid. Like, we, like what are you trying to pull? Like, we know you were in the Pokeroo costume. Like, come on. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, yeah. So, so that was like, you know, the, the funny bit of the show, right? Um, yeah the running gag right so um yeah so it was this, it was this puppet and it was like five bucks it had a tag on everything the year um probably like late 80s and i bought it i went with my gut and that that instance i went with my gut and it sold probably like a month later for 80 bucks on etsy yeah so and something like that sells better on etsy than ebay yeah um so yeah, anything vintage like that, you know, from a beloved, you know, TV series that is no longer on TV, um, even though there weren't a lot of soul comps, I still got it, you know, and it paid off, you know. Um, yeah, so stuff like that. And we mostly sell on eBay and um, Etsy, uh, I think are two main platforms. And once in a while we sell on, on Facebook Marketplace. Amazon, not so much. Um, we used to, once in a while, sell on Amazon, uh, but lately Amazon has been giving us troubles just with listing stuff. So, um, yeah, I think the hubby has given Amazon a break, you know, so I think right now it's just eBay and Etsy. So, yeah, so it's just like stuff like that, anything that's vintage, retro. Um, I'm trying to think what we sold in the past. Oh, the, the Wiggles DVDs, the older Wiggles, those sell, yeah. Um, um, yeah, so stuff like that, yeah. Um, anything like vintage, like toys, like vintage Barbie or dollhouse furniture, that kind of stuff sells, yeah. We always have, we always do all that stuff. Did I mention the, the Starbucks coffee mugs? Yeah. The ones that have the countries, they, those ones sell, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know, I just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think you learn along the way to what sells best for you and what doesn't, you know, and that it's, there's only one way to find out what sells for you and what doesn't, and that's to, yeah, try. So, but yeah, anything like retro, vintage, 
that is hard to get and I think there are two types of resellers you know because reselling reselling is very popular uh, right now back then it wasn't um, but right now it's very popular like almost everybody does it my sister also resells um, and my hairdresser and we were talking about yesterday her brother-in-law actually resells but he resells like brand new stuff I think he sells because she, she mentioned like when stuff goes on sale that's when he'll he goes out and buys stuff so he probably buys like um stuff like i see other people buy like dollarama and you know like yeah, the, the dollarama mickey mouse the oven gloves and the towels so yeah i've seen those on poshmark and i've seen like yeah they're right done you know people and but see i like i like doing what we do you know finding stuff going on a hunt the thrill of the hunt, not knowing what you're going to find, and you know, yeah, you could be finding something that somebody's looking for. Who knows? And oh, another thing that sells good for us are is cross stitch patterns. Um, if they're brand new and sealed, they sell really good too. I've sold quite a few for like over fifty bucks. So yeah, that they sell pretty good for us too. Um, but yeah, and no, no, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Oh, what was I saying? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, like, yeah, so for us, it's the thrill of the hunt, you know, just not knowing what you're going to find, um, you know, but there's people that buy, like, brand new stuff, and it's like, oh, that's not really fun. I don't know, and I know there's people that buy Ray Dunn and <sighs> Ray Sell, and I don't get Ray Dunn. Um, for me, I, I think Ray Dunn is just too plain. I don't like it. Like, you know, it's like, um, I like, I like, you know, color. I do like color, but I like a pattern, and I do, I don't like the print. I think that's why I don't like it about it, because it looks like a five-year-old printed that out, pretty much. A five-year-old could probably do a better job. <laughs> you know, I just don't like it. Yeah, but there's people that go cray-cray over it, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. They gotta have the latest, right? Mm. So yeah, so uh, yeah, that's what we um what we do and anything yeah, I like that. And a lot of times I go with my gut. Yeah, now during the pandemic when we were on lockdown, um things that sold really well. We didn't really sell, um, we didn't have anything on hand, but puzzles sold really well, paint by number set sold really well, like stuff like that that people those people were stuck at home, right? They needed stuff to do. So um and we we've had we have sold paint by number set. Even ones that had dry paint, we still sold them because you can just get your own paint, you know, like yeah. Anyways, so that's that. I just wanted to share that um, since we were talking about reselling and that's what we're going to be doing with those dolly clothes. And um, one of those shirts was actually mine. I think it was a pajama top. Yeah, it has um, two pink leopards on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I remember that. I don't know. Yeah, definitely a blast from the past. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to finish up my latte and enjoy the last few minutes of peace and quiet before the boys come home and put my feet up. <laughs> taco! Taco, taco, where are you going? Hey, here you go. Where are you going? Hmm? <laughs> booga, booga! Booga, booga! Booga, booga yourself. <laughs> All right, so the boys came back home probably like 30 minutes ago from school. Now they're, <laughs> now they're heading back out. They're going to go to a soccer field and just run around. <laughs> yes, Casey. Let's see. Yep. That's the right way. I want to see what I, I get to go the wrong way. If you put the wrong way, I don't know what I can do. We put the wrong way. Put the right way. Oh, there are pumpkins. Oh, destroyed. Yeah. I eat them. Actually, his pumpkin was in the window and I fell out the window and um, I had an accident. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, she was on. Good job. Windy out here. Yeah. And you blame my, my window? And I went and I went so quite well. 
Yeah, I still got flowers. I yeah. There's, I a, there's I a few. I think I know when the garden like it. Look yeah. Like a there, those ones are a daisy. I think. Oh, no, I got my go in the garden. Yeah. They look like a sun? Good. Good. Any bat need gun. Yeah. Grow. Oh, they need sun to grow. Yes. Yeah. In water. I thought you were talking. I thought you meant that they look like the sun. In water. And the water. Yes. No, need, no juice in the meat go. They need sun and water to grow. That's good. That's gonna say because like they do look like the sun because the middle part is red and uh, not red, yellow. I do know my colors. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yellow, not red. I don't know why I said red. I don't know. Today's a day where words are not coming out, right? No, no. But that's every day. All right. Well, this month gets some more quiet time. So yeah, yay me. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just gonna end the vlog. Looking for the Amazon Fire Stick control oh, on the floor, of course. Oh. <laughs> oh, the back came off, of course. So let's turn this off. There. Yeah, so I think we'll say goodnight. Um, it's probably a long enough vlog, and I have. Look what's creeping over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta deal with that. <laughs> That's nothing though. <laughs> you should see what's upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> if I go missing, I'm buried underneath a clean pile of clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So thanks for watching. I really, should. I really appreciate it. Uh, tomorrow is grocery shopping day. No frills. So, I will be doing that, and, yeah, oh, but right now, I'm going to relax, actually, I still have to, I still have to make my grocery list, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow morning, <laughs> uh, yeah, right now, I'm just going to relax, and take it easy, because, listen, oh, it's so nice, it's blissful, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it, okay, I'll see you in the next kind of video, take care, be blessed, bye!